<laughs> Y'all, Damo Bunny, bro. <laughs> Dog told uh, Damo that if he was playing GTA, that he's still on the side mission. I mean, he's still on the main mission. He ain't even got to the side missions yet. I know after you beat all the main missions, then you on the side missions, you can kind of have fun and do whatever you want. Dub said, uh, Damo's still on the main mission. Hey, hey Damo, I'm still on the main missions too, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. They on deleted 30 of my channels. I'm still on the main missions, bro. They keep resetting my game, bro. I keep having to get a new platform. So you you ain't the only one, bro. When I first started doing YouTube, bro, I was doing um, music video reactions. Because back then, we was able to do that. I was getting 40,000 views a day. I also had a channel where I was promoting Kai and Speed. I was getting over 100,000 view, views a day. And you know, if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? So now, I do my own stuff. But then at the same time, I got to watch what I say. Cause they on took a, they took fifteen channels down just from the stuff that I say, the way that I talk. I I was gonna go the DDG route. My nephew's back there. I was gonna use the kids, but I didn't want to use the kids. I don't want to use the kids. Does that make sense? But between the kids and the pets, the kids, the pets, and the women, how you think the shame them blow so crazy? You know what I mean? Between the kids, the pets, and the women, it's like, it's a no-brainer. Because us men and other women, they like to see kids. They like to see cute dogs and pets and animals, and they love to see the kids. You right? I mean, and, and the women. The kids, the pets, and the women. That's what they like to see. They don't necessarily care to see us, right? Who cares to see us, right? We men. We don't even care for y'all to see us, Right? So when like Dub how Dub puts Woo Wop on the videos and stuff like that, now people tune in because they're like, oh look at Woo Wop, I wonder what he doing, and look how smart he getting, and and this and that and that. Seeing him going from a baby to a real kid, and then to an adult, you know what I mean? That's like a whole life story. We don't see this man from the from the ground up, basically type. You know what I mean? The whole the whole DDG story, then putting his family on. The whole story is just so amazing. Right? And that's why it sticks so good. Because it's so amazing. Regardless if we're from Pontiac or not. We understand what a struggle look like. What a struggle sound like. What a struggle smell like. Right? And that's when the real people come in. The day ones. And we come to watch the videos. Regardless if we tell y'all we watching y'all videos or not. We watching. I just decided to come in here. Because keep going bro. Keep going, bro. Me, I got lucky. My family older, so they retired, right? So I, I got a little lucky, but not even necessarily because if something happened to them, then what am I going to do, right? So I ain't even going to say I'm necessarily lucky or not, but God working his ways, right? Where I'm able to get up every day and still do a reaction video regardless if I get one, two views, a hundred views, a thousand views or not. Because I've been there when I was getting 40,000 views a video, right? But it ain't about that. It's never about that. I'd rather just touch them five or six people, and, and, and that, that makes me happy internally. And that's what matters to me. It ain't about the money or none of that stuff. Because a lot of people get tied into doing stuff for the money. I would never do something for the money because I feel like I'm working. I do it for the love, right? When we step in the studio, when we step in the booth... We spin these verses, we singing these songs for God. We not doing it because we want to make our homie happy. We trying to make our parents happy. They ain't got to do it with none of them. It ain't got to do with them at all. We doing it because we want to show God that we able to use our talents and abilities that he's given to us and that we appreciate it. That's the reason why Michael Jackson, Chris Brown, the rest of the people get up and dance and they move their body because their soul is on fire for God, right? That's the reason why Beyonce and them get up. That's the reason why they able to reach those altitudes, right? Because it's levels to this shit. So at the same time, just because you beat the main missions, go ahead and take over another board. Take over another map. If y'all get where I'm going. No, I say it's levels to this shit, man. When you start buying Ferraris and four hundred dollars, thousand dollar cars, like it's like it's like it's free, like it's cheap, you know what I mean? Then that's when you like, yeah, 
I definitely made it. I'm definitely on another level. But until then, everybody got to continue grinding and continue working. For sure. Shouts out to Doug with the Maybach. You feel me? That's definitely one of those big achievements and compliments. Aiden Ross. Y'all see Kine all along buying Richie Millies and all that for their friends. He ain't buying for us. So he bought a Richie Millie for his friend. That's how you know they achieving those accomplishments. When you can go in the stories like, yeah, let me get one of them Richies and let me go get, get that one right there and I'm just going to go ahead and give it to my friend. What? Who, which one of your friends spent 500000 on you? Right. Exactly. That's my whole point. So again, when I tell y'all there's levels to this shit, you always got to keep going. Until you get the Mr. Beast level, you ain't, you ain't giving out millions to people just for the fun of it. And that go the same for Doug. You're not giving out millions to people just for the fun of it. A hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, that's cool. That's cool, bro. But when you start giving out the millions to where you can just give it out and you ain't even, you ain't even thinking about it. You ain't even, it ain't even, you ain't even, it ain't even scratch the surface. That's when you know you're really making money. You're getting a hundred mil every month. Y'all go check out how much Mr. B's getting every month. They got the social blade. Go check it out. Your whole brain gonna explode. Because you don't know nobody else making that much money. Bill Gates ain't even making that much. I promise you he not. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? Oprah ain't making that much. So we see it as it's a different type of opportunity here. Right? They might be. Don't get me wrong. They might be. Because they got royalties in different places. Right? They got assets in different places. But what I'm saying is those are the levels you're trying to be at. You're trying to be at a Bill Gates or Oprah or Mr. Beast level. That's what we're trying to all achieve to, right? Right? The cutie pies and all of them. We're we trying to achieve those levels, right? So that way you can do more. You can do more for countries. We ain't just doing it for the neighborhood. We're doing it for the whole country. We're doing it for the whole state. We're moving from state to state. We're going from country to country, changing people's lives. We're doing Akon type of stuff. We're building cities that look like Dubai. So again, it's levels to this shit, bro. Keep working, keep stacking it up. For real. And again, Akon, he sing to women. So obviously he gonna sell, right? And that's what I'm telling y'all. See, when you, when you know the game, when you've been in it for a long time, you can understand everything about it, the ins and outs. It'll be all in your brain, right? Now, once you get into your brain, once you access that power, once you access that knowledge in your brain, now you put in the work. Because now you're putting the work. You know why you're doing it now. Let me see one of y'all. Let me see. Doug, go, go ahead and build a city. Build towns. They can build in Tesla towns, Apple towns. They're doing all of that. When y'all start doing stuff like that, that's when you know you're like, yeah. I'm changing the world at that point, right? You're giving people power. You're giving people water. You're giving cities water to where they can drink fresh water. We ain't even got that in America. Some places in America, man, all these houses are rotten in the inside out. You don't even know it. You get in the house and all of a sudden you got plumbing issues and everything else. Right? So let's be real. It's levels to all of this. And all I got to say is everybody keep going, keep grinding, never give up, never stop. Oh, yeah, and woo up. You're going to be one of them ones. He already know that. It's based on the foundation. We can't even stop it. Dub, Brittany, they did their thing. They did their thing, right? DDG, they did their thing, right? Mama DDG, they did their thing, right? Nice young man. Come on now. But that's what it's all about, man. Put your dogs on the camera, man. Go for morning walks, stuff like that, man. Keep showing your training, fitness, you losing weight, gaining weight, whatever, gaining muscle, gaining strength, whatever the case may be. Uh, showing off your woman, showing, not, not, not making her look goofy. Showing her off, showing, showing her the love that you have for her, real love. Don't make it funny, though. Just show her the real love and show us it. And by you doing that, that's going to change our mindset. That's how you get those, those ace families, and that's how you get those type of people who have those, those people who are making millions of dollars every month. But again, you got to change your mindset to get there. But if you keep doing all this goofy stuff just to make people laugh, it ain't always going to. It's just people gonna come in. They might like the video. They might not. Now they going on. Now they now they on got their detox. Now they going on to the next video. You don't want that. You want people to stick around. You want people to have a reason to stick around. 
They sticking around because you have a family. You're building a brand. You're building something strong. That's the reason why they watch a Beyonce and a Jay Z. Come on now. Like I said, I've been in this for so long. I can tell the whole ins and out of everything. My only problem is I don't give a fuck <laughs> about the fame. I don't give a fuck about the money. So I've turned down so many opportunities. I've turned down so many sponsorships. I've turned down so many record labels. Why? Because I don't care about that. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here for God, not for these humans, right? Well, not the ones who's trying to take my power, who's trying to control my power, who's trying to tell me what to do. And that's why they come out with other websites, like what I was saying about Rumble. That's why after Twitch doing what they doing, now they had to make kick, right? To give content creators, people like me, the chance to be able to really be themselves and not be regulated. And again, me knowing that it's a new platform, me knowing it's levels to it, me knowing it's going to take a little time for it to grow. But once it grow, it's going to show. The work always does. You can't stop it. It's like when Cash Money AP came out in the beginning, if y'all remember that. Every beat you ever listened to, it said, Cash Money AP. I know y'all remember that. It's like when DJ Khaled had his run. Every song you heard, DJ Khaled. It's the same thing. Once that, once the run start, oh, trust me, all the other videos going to hit. It's going to be videos that maybe might have had 100,000 views. It's going to be a million. That last one that had five views is going to turn into a million. You see what I'm saying? Because now they starting to stick to it. Like Doug was saying, which he write about that. He was saying that uh, you got to find what the people want to see from you. Right? For me personally, like I told y'all, it was the music videos. They love the music videos. Anytime I watch music videos, they love that because they understand I produce, I engineer, and I've been doing this shit for a long time. So when I talk that music stuff, they like, he know what he's talking about. The same with the YouTube. I haven't done this for so long. Trust me. For those that know, they, they gonna be like, yeah, he right. So keep going, bro. But for real, you got a whole, man, you got dogs and you got a, a girlfriend slash wife. That's a whole family channel, my G. The thing is, stop throwing your woman under the bus. Stop making her look goofy and don't do no cheating stuff. Don't do no videos with no other women. Don't do none of that stuff. Just do stuff with your woman. Because there's no men out here doing that. So that's going to make the difference right there. Men ain't out here showing their woman off and showing them a good time. Huh? That's a difference right there. Let alone letting her be beautiful. Oh my God. Right? That's the reason why you would it, right? So again, it's levels to this stuff, man. Another thing that helps out. Interviews, right? Like how you did this interview right here with two famous YouTubers. That helps out, right? Being there on the scene, networking, that helps out, right? Keep going, bro. I'll see you later. Don't you cry. We out, y'all. Peace.